And joining us now to just further discuss uh, this is MD and ER physician Dr. Richard McCormick. Dr. McCormick, of course, Leah Thomas is a trans woman. At the same time, we're learning doctors from the esteemed Mayo Clinic saying, yeah, but she still has that advantage despite taking those testosterone blockers. Just explain a little bit of the physiology behind this. Well, anybody who has children can see the distinct difference between their children by the time they reach adolescence. I, too, was a sports physiology major in college and before I became an MD. And uh, I don't think it takes much uh, more than common sense to look at the pictures of her next to the three competitors she went against at the national uh, championships. There's no, dip there's, no <laughs> there's no doubt in the differences between their physiology. You see, one's a grown man, somebody who was ranked 464th in the men's division and then became first in the women's division. Uh, to think that there's any, any other argument than a distinct advantage from somebody who's transitioned, uh, it's just not a logical, common sense type of argument. Uh, it doesn't make any sense physiologically. From I, I get it, he's suppressing his, uh, his testosterone. It didn't, it didn't stop you from having all the advantages of growth hormone and testosterone while you're growing up, developing muscles, developing bone, developing muscle mass and height. Uh, that's all a huge advantage for somebody. And all the trans, a lot of transgenders like Bruce Jenner have been against this, as well as the, the, uh, the gay and lesbian uh, community as well. Yeah, Thomas revealed during an interview with ABC News and ESPN um, that she went on to say she hopes to compete in the 2024 U.S. Olympics there. Um, it's been a goal of mine to swim at Olympic trials for a very long time, and I would love to see that through again, ABC7 putting that out. But I just want to, as you think about that, I want to ask you, um, what does that do for, for women's sports? When I, when I was reading this article, I, I'll just read a quick quote. It says, but peer-reviewed studies show that even after testosterone su suppression, top trans women retain a substantial edge when racing against top biological women. So to put that so other, in perspective, your thoughts. Yeah, so in other words, as, as physiologically, evidence points all directions towards them having a distinct advantage uh, I think this should be something that women and daughters should have an outrage over more than anybody. Uh, look, we fought hard for the rights of women in sports and collegiate athletics. I don't think it's time to go backwards. Can you imagine if a large portion of people decided to designate themselves as female and then start dominating the sports, how that's going to affect women who have uh, fought for those rights? Uh, I just don't think it's a good argument. Yeah, no, I think that's a great point. And also, you know, it was interesting because um, when now Leah Thomas was competing as a swimmer against men, she was not even on the radar, um, but now she is winning all of these events when she's competing against women. So obviously there's something there, but she did say that when she started to take these testosterone suppressants, besides feeling much happier and more content in her body, she also said she became much weaker and she could sense a big difference in her body such as a reduction in muscle mass. However, uh, we do know, I believe, that much of the male genetics still remain the same, again, giving her that competitive edge, no matter how many of these blockers she takes. And another thing we need to consider too, this is just the beginning, right? What about softball? What about uh, MMA? What about all these sports, combat sports? Do we really wanna see somebody who's physiologically a man uh, whipping up on a, on a female? I just don't think that's what America or anybody else wants to see. Yeah, um, Dr. Richard McCormick joining us live on that topic there. Uh, we appreciate you weighing in. Again, this is the first time that we've had something official in a report, or at least that I've read, that was a peer-reviewed yes. study coming out uh, saying that there is an advantage of a man transitioning to a female despite that still dominating uh, in the female world as far as sports go. Could be the beginning of a story there, even bigger story as what that could do to women's sports. Yeah, indeed. All right, Dr. Rich McCormick, thanks, McCormick, thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure.